Alright guys, we got 20 minutes till the meeting. I was up pretty much since 8. Uh, it's, it's go time, I guess. You've been up since 8 and you're barely getting ready? Really? Well, I've been I, ready. I, my I hair's my gelled. Look at that. I have, I have my excuses. I just barely woke up. Oh, and that's any better, right? Of course it's better. I got up, I ate, and then I'm being productive. What about you? What have you done for the last four hours? Just <laughs> ate and showered. The same thing I've done. Anyways, here we go. Hopefully everything goes good. I will update you throughout the day. All right, guys. So a lot of stuff has happened so far. The first loan yeah, meeting, yeah, it totally killed me. And like, it drained me of my moral. You know, like obviously you're gonna hit road bumps along the way. Expect it, and I expected it. But even then, when everything was going so smooth, and then we hear that. Um, the loan isn't gonna come through from this one gentleman. That is a crushing blow. Definitely uh, something that I was not expecting. So either way, what's cool is he recommended somebody else and it seems like I'm okay with somebody else as well. But our plans have changed a little. Again, expect to be kind of liquid, expect to move around. It's not formed yet. I, I called a whole bunch of people um, the real estate broker, actually, I contacted my original real estate broker, which I've been in contact with them for six months. Man, what a hectic day today is. And this is what you would expect in opening a business, guys. This is exactly what you'd expect, especially when your working capital is pretty much only in the six digits, right? And I know to some of you, a couple hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money, but when you're running a business, it's not really. Uh, it says that the owner will do a, a owner carry. Oh, no way. Yeah. Um, on the listing. And then the second one is uh, 179K. And the inventory is, bulk of it's small. Is everything um, co signed? I believe so. Uh, they're they're going to give me a call. And both of them are e located in East Valley in the same Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, what do you call it? So I, I just contacted my, my original real estate agent and he's sending me a, a link of houses in this area as well. So so guys, things change. Things so guys don't give up. <laughs> things change dramatically. Like dramatically. I mean we were looking at like crazy things and it's like now sizing it down to reality. <laughs> pretty much. But here's the thing though. The sizing it down to reality was what I was saying in the very beginning. Well, the thing is, if we borrow from the hedge fund, then it's, we can do what we want to do. But we are going to borrow from the hedge fund. Okay, then what's the point in sizing down? He says 85 to 15, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to meet the hedge fund, hedge fund guy tomorrow. So it's not... It's not... Well, okay, we'll pursue both avenues right now and see which one's better off. Yeah, so one is we become very stupid and we invest a whole bunch of money we don't have. Um, <laughs> And we make it big and cross our fingers. And go big or go home kind of stuff? You go big or go home. Or another one, like buy it very stable, but we'll know that. And then build out eventually? Yeah, and build out eventually. So those are our two options. Um, definitely, anyways, I wanted a single family house here for me and my wife, anyways. Oh, you don't think about me, huh? I forget you too. Oh, well, you're gonna be sleeping on the sofa for a little I'm, bit. I'm going back to California then. <laughs> Kick me out of the curb, huh? Any, anyways, I wanted a house, especially because my in-laws will be coming. I know my in-laws will coming, and um, I got a lot of crap for not owning a. <laughs> At least I have a house, but they, they don't consider it my house, you know. So, mm, yeah, this would be a very good. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that is what's happening, guys. It's been crazy. It's a crazy morning, and honestly, you uh, could, ups and downs. You could ask Jason how bummed I was. I was. All right, guys, if any of you guys have ever done business, everything or anything in, in general, things don't always work out the way you want it to. Things don't work out the way you have it planned. Sometimes, you know, the best way to think about things is to be a realistic pessimist. Be realistic, 
and be pessimistic that those realities will kick in and kick you in the ass. Um, you know, the problem was, was Friday we heard one thing and then the same guy who told us that thing comes on Monday morning and tells us a whole different story. You know, the guy gave us nothing but positive news on Friday and then he comes on Monday and he gives us the really realistic <laughs> news on the Monday morning. Yeah, I mean, things are not going to always go the way we want or the way you want or the way anyone wants, you know. We have to take those into consideration, those hiccups. But if you give up and not pursue other ways, you'll fail, you know. Um, luckily, he and I have both done this plenty of times that we know there's going to be hiccups, there will be hurdles, and it's just a matter of how you face those hurdles, whether you'll be successful or not, you know. So, yeah, we'll have, a, he'll probably have a further update tomorrow. But guys, here's the biggest thing, okay? If it was your first time, or if it's anything to do with it, people would have quit after they heard what they heard today. Yeah, that, that was like a I quit kind of news. <laughs> like a screw it, I wanna go to nine to five. <laughs> Kick me in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> like, I lost, you know, take me back to my cell type of TKO'd in the yeah, first round. <laughs> that that was what it was for me. That was that was what it was, and when that happens, if you're the type of person that's gonna feel so down that you can't get back up, don't do a business. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. Because the bank will kick your ass. Yeah, everything will be working against you in the very beginning. The government will kick your ass. Taxes will kick your ass. All right guys, so we're headed over to the lawyer's office to finish up some paperwork there so that we could get our corporations pretty much completed. So then we could open up the bank accounts. So then we could put funds in it. And then I have no fucking clue. But after the lawyer's office, we're gonna see our real estate broker just to look at properties. Again, it's been, again. <laughs> It's been held back for a day because we're meeting another loan officer tomorrow, but plans may change. Like I said, it's, it's like a flowing water. Alright right, guys, so we're done with everything and I'm exhausted and drained and went to the market again. All right, guys. So we're back home. Today was a crazy day. I was I, I burnt myself out to the point where I was snapping at everybody. Yeah, that wasn't cool, homie. Yes. And it's just you know what? Like the beginning of the day, it started off really bad because I really wanted six to eight hours of sleep. I only got four and a half, five, and then on top of that, the first meeting we had went downhill, which is like. Down a gut shot. It, it hit the wall. <laughs> that was like a gut shot. And, and then after that, like nothing seemed to like feel good. No matter how well or how much progress we made, it didn't feel like we made progress. It felt like one tiny step forward, like freaking one landslide back. I'm so... Big baby. <laughs> big baby. Don't know how to roll with the punches. Pull it, shake it off. This The thing is, this is life-changing stuff. This isn't like shake it off this is anyways so don't you know the saying it's not a matter of how hard you hit it's a matter of how hard you get hit and get back up life is gonna hit you no matter which way you look at it anyways oh he, bl he brushes me off again you know what Ugh. i don't want to do business with a guy like this it's too late we already signed the court <laughs> Fuck. so today we finalized it the money. <laughs> We both signed it. <laughs> Officially, we have two corporations, and because it's official now, I can go ahead and give you the name for them. One is Save Your Souls. Arms. Arms, there we go. So, Save Your Souls Arms, which when you say it like that, it sounds pretty stupid. But if you say SOS Arms? SOS <laughs> Arms, yes. But for those of you guys who don't know what SOS stands for, it's Save Your Souls. Our soul. The other one is CNCP investments which is just our last names with property investments so those two corporations are now ours they're 
official. We're gonna get the uh, EID number in tomorrow probably and then we'll open up accounts for those. And we'll have containers finally. That, so today we did that and then we met with a broker. And that broker was pretty cool because he was our lawyer's cousin. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was one of those, yeah, it came from the left field type of things. But another issue is the property that we're looking for is like over half a million dollars. Just the property alone, not fixing it up, not nothing like that. So we're looking at over a million dollars worth of stuff. So now we have to think about it. Tomorrow we have another meeting with another, um, what is it, hedge funder. But anyway guys, so we, I still have a lot to discuss with Jason. So this is the end of day six and it was a very stressful day, very stressful. But guys, he doesn't know how to deal with stress. He's a pansy. Remember, live well, laugh more. He doesn't laugh more.